Good morning, YouTube. How's everyone doing today? I hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, we're going to do some changes on the property. Um, those ch that ch big chicken pen I built a while back, we was going to house a bunch of chickens in there. It's, I believe it's going to be a, it's a very bad mistake. Uh, we have rats. As you can see back behind me, is a big, massive sugar cane field. Lots of rats in there. Um, the traps they have here are not strong enough to kill them. Uh, we have traps, but they're sprung, but it, it doesn't seem to hurt the rats. The rats are huge here. I think the rats weigh about two, three kilos. They're bigger than the most house cats. Uh, they are huge. Um, the chickens are just have are just dying. I mean, we we can, I can't keep them alive. Just yesterday, we lost ten chickens. Last night, we lost two. Uh, we lost a whole bunch of them. But these guys, they seem to do okay. They they, they really don't. Nothing really messes this guy or these guys over here. These, those are okay. All the chickens, I went ahead and turned them loose. Um, Last night, there was five, and today, there still is five. The other night, there was eight, and uh, three of them died to um, rats. So, wherever these guys stay, I'm not sure where they stayed, but they seem to do okay. The mama takes care of them. When they're in a pen, the mother can't, they, they're easily cornered and they're easily killed. So we're, we're going to change everything here. We I don't like the situation. So all basically all of our chickens are loose right now. I've just opened up the pen. But we have a better plan for our uh, chicken hutch here. I'm going to go ahead. There's chicken still in there. That's, I don't know why. <laughs> they got the doors open, but they still like it. This mama right here had 10 little chicks the other day uh, they're all dead that little chick right there that little guy he's got a bad leg uh, the rat bit, bit his leg almost completely off and he's hobbling now poor thing there's nothing I can do for him but yeah we're gonna take this we're gonna take the all the netting off we're gonna go ahead and saw the legs off at the, the base we're taking it all the way down there, and we're going to turn this into a pig pen. We're going to get rid of this. Uh, basically, we're going to put hollow blocks all the way around. We're going to pour concrete basically all the way up to here. And uh, we're going to set this down there, and it's going to be pigs. Huh? We're, going to, we're going to go another direction. <sighs> it's sad. I mean, over the past two months three months ever since this thing was built we've lost probably 45 i'd say 45 chickens easily 45 i mean we were so so many of them that just the rats i don't know i just we just can't stop them there's just no way no way of stopping them and it's sad but if they live like that, I mean, I told Agnes, let's go ahead and get rid of all these things because um, they're just dying. We could take them somewhere, sell them, do whatever. But she said, yeah, she thinks they'd be okay. Put them right here and let them do whatever they want to do. And I said, okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. These guys can fight the rats off. They <laughs> My fighting roosters, they don't have any problem. They can defend for themselves i think if they all my chickens got that big i think they do pretty good but right now they are dying <laughs> and it's sad I, I i hate to see them all go like that very sad but yeah we're going to turn that thing into a pig pen we're going to get about 15 guys i'm going to saw that thing off at the base right where the concrete is we're going to move that whole thing all the way down to the end of the, of the fence and concrete all that in down there we're going to do a hollow block wall 
down there from the corner coming back to the gate and do a couple nice gates then we're gonna go ahead and do concrete wall all the way over here set that thing put hollow blocks all the way around that and i think we'll have a wonderful pig pen then we'll just raise pigs instead of chickens i thought chickens were going to be a good thing but I didn't realize the rats were that bad here. I knew there was rats, but you can see all these places right here. I got all these pieces of wood all the way around. All those, all those little patches down at the base. This is where rats have chewed through there, and they're getting inside. There's like big holes everywhere, like this right here. Look at this. They chewed this whole thing up to get at the chickens. You can see a, a little chicken just right there. You see his head right there. They pulled him all the way through the boards and killed him. There, I think there's like three little chicks underneath there right now. We got to move this and get those dead chickens out of there. Get that little chickens. I can't believe they did that to that poor little thing. But these rats are horrible. I tried to catch them, and they're just not going to happen. Not going to happen. So, different direction. Totally different direction. Yeah, he has no problem. He has no problem at all. He will, I think he will probably kill the rats. <laughs> He's mean. He don't like rats. But anyway, guys, yeah, it's, the COVID, COVID thing is coming back in a big way. Dumaguete City is, they have a lot, a lot of stuff going on down there. A lot of people infected. Cebu City, oh my goodness, I don't even know what to think about that. It's Delta variant cases are on the rise big time. Um. I, don't, I wouldn't believe anything you read on the internet. Uh, I talked to people down there who worked for the government that you don't hear the true story, what's going on. Um, I don't expect the country to open up this year. Honestly, there's people hoping to come back. I know there's going to be a lot of people hating to hear what I'm saying, but it is probably true. I'd really doubt if this company, uh, country's going to open up, much as I hate to say. I'd, I'd love to see it. I've, I've got a lot of friends outside the country that would beg him to come back. But right now, dangerous times. Very dangerous. But anyway, guys, yeah, I just figured I'd give you an update on my little shed right there i mean i've spent a lot of money building that thing hoping to keep chickens in there and raise them it's not a good idea there's just nothing you can do to keep them out they dig up they, i got holes where they don't want to bite through the netting they dig underneath and get up inside there they they got holes all the way around that thing where they could just dig and get up inside there um I, there's just no way of protecting them and if you did build like concrete walls or whatever the rats climbed concrete walls they don't have any problem climbing concrete walls they they go wherever they want yeah it's very depressing i mean i had to bury 10 chickens yesterday and two today and we got probably two to three underneath the pen right there. I'm gonna to have to get rid of them. Yeah, I'm gonna probably just go ahead and tear all those little pins apart, get rid of all those. I don't think those are, those are any, not any good to me. This one right here is gonna be destroyed. We're gonna to to get rid of this. It's just nothing but eyesores anyway. I, I never did really like this pen, but I just wanted something to raise chickens and I told her, well, I don't know, we'll see. Now, I know, <laughs> we got a little chicken that's not going to make it through, probably, he'd be dead tomorrow.
rat will get him because he's crippled because the rat bit his leg, almost leg completely off. So he's got one leg he hobbles on, poor thing. Nothing I could do for him. Nothing I could do for that little guy. But there's still chickens in here. We got chicken on a nest right there. We got a chicken on a nest right over there. Um, when those chickens come out, they're gonna go, we're gonna put them outside. You can just look over there, over there by the door. Look at that big hole. There's a big hole there and a big hole there. That's how the rats, they dig that. I had that filled up the day before yesterday, completely filled. They did that in one night, dug that big old hole on both sides, and they come in here and do whatever they want to do. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for joining our community. We cannot do it without your assistance. Um, I want to thank everyone for subscribing. We enjoy everyone's comments be sure to give us a thumbs up for our videos and we will definitely pick you guys on the very next video peace out